Hello everybody and welcome to a flash building tutorial and in this lesson we're not going to mess with any code at all we're just going to show you how to make awesome animations we're using fireworks CS4 for the graphics and we're using flash CS3 to animate things and bring them to life and use it for the uh, eventually put it on a web page and we had this is a forum request one of our members uh, saw a MySpace profile he saw, thought it was really hot some cool animations on it and was asking if anybody could show how these kind of animations are made so I thought I'd put it together alright and uh, let's see what else should I tell you oh yeah if the blades look crappy in the video the spin animation on the blades looks crappy in the video you can go to uh, the link description the link in the description and click that and you'll see where it is at the page where I put the demo because I don't think these animations on those blades spinning around are going to render out real nice so if you want to see it real nice how it's intended to look you can go and click on the link in the description hello everybody and welcome to another flash building tutorial and in this one we have a forum member who would like to know how to animate a helicopter and make lights coming out from the bottom animated and uh, have an animated uh, blades on top spinning blades so the first thing we'll do is you gotta get yourself a helicopter you can see my helicopter is sitting on no background and that's what that's what we want you wanna make sure you have a helicopter that's cut out nicely and nothing does better for that than the magic wand and then touch it up with the eraser that's how I got mine all set up and so once you get your helicopter body then you want to make a blade for it so we'll bring out an ellipse and you can grab or you hold down on the left mouse button to see all of these uh, tool options here or which ones you want to pick grab whichever one you want and you hold down shift to make sure it's a perfect circle while you're dragging see if you don't hold down shift it can get egg shaped and oval on you okay so let's make a little guy there and now to make the first part of the blade I'm going to grab the pen tool and I'm just gonna make uh, a basic shape here for a blade So what you do is just click and drag and click and drag and move it and put it where you want it. You can even zoom in by holding down control and zoom in and out with your mouse wheelie. If you're on Mac it's command mouse wheel. Zoom in and out very easy in fireworks. While you're drawing. So let's put that right where it wants to go or right where I want to put it. Click and then connect the dot and now go to the body fill black the edge fill none okay that looks a little crooked but that's okay doesn't have to be perfect it's gonna get blurred anyway so now we're going to let's move these down a little now we're gonna take this and control C control V and now go to the scale tool you can move this or actually you can go to uh, modify or actually if you're in CS4 you might be in CS3 though there's some tools up here in CS4 but we'll just go to modify transform vertical flip it vertical drag it into place let's fit canvas Now I'll highlight these two. Make sure they're in the center there, good enough. Press Control C, Control V. And that copy and paste copy the copies of those right on top of themselves. And now with those two highlighted, go to modify, transform, rotate 90 degrees. Move them up into place, and now we'll fit canvas again. And there you go now we can take that and it looks like 
that would be about the right size. Let's make it a little smaller. Don't have to be so big. And uh, that's good. Now we can group those with them all selected. Just highlight all five those shapes. Press uh, Control G, or you can go up to Modify, Combine Paths, and Union. Now it's all one piece, all one shape, all one path, rather. And so now we want to make sure that we have a copy of that. So let's go to press with it highlighted, press Control C, Control V or command V if you're on a Mac and spin that bad boy around by angles until you get it right there okay so let's see what we need is one then the other and let's just grab them all but we won't group those together we're gonna put the helicopter right there I'm going to highlight this one and this one and we're going to go to the distort tool. I'm going to try to match up these lines to where it distorts. You see the line of my dashed box there? I'm going to try and line it up to the, the line of the, the ship or the helicopter. About like that. Now let's drag those two onto the top where they belong, and there you go. Well, it's not done yet, but this actually looks like we can just distort it a little bit more to angle it just right, right down this way. That looks better. There we go. Now. That's just about perfect. Okay, so now we're going to bring this all into Flash. Let's grab the helicopter first. Actually, we can bring them all into Flash. Let's, uh... No, I'm going to do it one at a time. Press Control c on the helicopter. Well, actually, it's a little bit big, too, so let's shrink it. Grab all of those items, highlight all of them, and scale them down. Oops. Make sure we're on the scale and not the distort. We don't want to distort that when we're scaling it down. That'll work. That's a good size. Now let's take just a helicopter body. I'm going to bring that into Flash. Control C. Uh, let's go to Action Script 3 file in Flash CS3. But you can use ActionScript too. We're just going to use basic ActionScript commands if we do use any at all. And you can be in Flash in 8 or MX too as well. Okay, so let's go to set the size of this thing the way we need it. Let's go maybe 700 wide. And we'll go with 400 high. That's good. We'll make the canvas a dark gray and press control V to pop in the the helicopter body put it where anywhere on stage you, it can be moved around so you'll see that's a, a movie clip of copy 4 when you bring it in from fireworks like that and now we're gonna bring in the first blade and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these uh, flatten these to bitmaps so highlight one, go to modify, flatten selection. The other one, highlight, modify, flatten selection. That way they're not paths anymore and they're actual images, bitmap images. Okay, so let's go these back there. Take the first one, control C, that'll be that one. And we'll bring it into flash, put it right on top. Let's get the other one as well. Actually, let's wait on the other one. 
let's highlight both of these together convert that to a symbol call it whole copter whole copter the entire copter movie clip okay now inside of it let's go and make some layers here let's grab this well first let's insert a new layer layer 2 let's grab the blade control X highlight that new layers keyframe and control shift V to paste it in there in place on the stage in that new keyframe on that new layer we'll call this blades we'll call this one body and we're gonna make one more and call it lights and that's gonna be under the body or light you can put multiple lights but I'll just show you one example so now we have to get these blades animated and in order to do that we're gonna make its own movie clip so we'll highlight it convert the symbol name is blades movie clip OK double click inside of it now what we want to do is bring in well let's make a new keyframe here mm. insert frame insert blank keyframe okay so now we have a blank keyframe on frame 3 and that, that'll probably be just about right let's drag it over to frame 2 actually right click that other one and remove it so we have a new open keyframe there let's bring in that other blade this one. Control C and right there, Control V. Press OK, bringing it in his movie clip. Now we're going to see if they match up pretty good in position by going between one frame and the other. OK. So at this point, we can take a first glimpse by pressing Control Enter and that's a nice little animation let's get our frame rate higher so we have nicer animations maybe to about 24 should be good or you can set it up to 30 for it to be ultra smooth publish it out in the browser I'm gonna take a look at it there we go that's beautiful now what you want to do to finish it off is go back out to where you have your layers here, the body lights and blades. Highlight this movie clip, blades, go to filters, plus sign, blur. Give it a blur of I don't know, 14, 15, 14 might do it. 14, let's go to medium and bring that back down now 12 now let's press control enter and take a look at it that is perfect see that's even that's a better animation than the one that the gentleman from our forum referred me to I don't want to get all conceited but damn I'm good alright so I mean all I have to do is see something on a, on a web page and I can recreate it usually when I recreate it it comes out better than the original okay so that shows you how to animate the blades now let's get the light in there and we're done for this portion of uh, what the gentleman wanted to see so let's go up to scene one and we can move our helicopter anywhere we want now you can even actually animate it uh, in this timeline if you set up your movie clips right you know everything's nested correctly uh, so back inside we'll go to the lights layer so I went double clicked back inside the whole copter and inside the lights layer I'm going to put I'm just gonna use the pen tool here and I'm going to 
position right where I think the light would be under the helicopter. Probably about right about there. Or there. We're going to bring it down to the earth. So you click once, and you bring it down towards the earth. Then you click again over here. You're just going to make a basic shape. This makes it to where we can't see the chopper anymore by hitting the eye on that layer. And let's finish this up here. Maybe right about there. And close it up. Now we can, we have a shape. Now we can put a fill on. Let's give it a fill of gradient. Make sure the edge is nothing. Now with the, uh, the symbol highlighted, or the shape highlighted, go to the gradient transform. Let's make sure it's white on top. Make sure it fills the whole area by dragging this arrow. See? Put it to the edges. Now go into the color palette and make it white where it's black. Now where it was black and we turned it white, double click that again and bring the alpha all the way down to zero. Let's also bring the alpha down somewhat on our top color, top white, to about 72. That looks good. And we can also adjust the points here as well. And I think I want to do that because Let's see, can I adjust these points? I thought I could. Let me see. Yeah. I think I have it too wide. Let's bring it in a little. There we go. Now, let's get this one a little more close together. That's good. Now we can convert that to a symbol. Make it to where we see the chopper again. Convert this to a symbol. Movie clip. Name it light. Press OK. And um, what should we do here? Yeah, let's convert that to a symbol again. And call it uh, copter light. So inside of it would be lights now. So copter light, press OK. So see here, this is copter light, and inside of it is light. Here we're going to animate this to go rock back and forth. So let's go to free transform, take that registration dot in the middle, put it up to the center to where we can rock it. Now we're going to, mm, the first position, we're going to start it right about here. Second position, go to maybe, I don't know, 12, press F6, and let's go ahead and rock it out. 24, press F6, did I do that right? Gonna have to go back, so yeah. Now 36, put another keyframe, and we'll rock it back. Then we'll put uh, create motion tween. I'm not sure if I set that up right. I'm gonna find out. Let's see. Well, it could have came right back here. Let's see. That's what it should have done. Let's go right there. There we go. Now we can just get rid of this tween. Sorry about that. That was uh, very amateur of me. Remove frames. And now we have the animation we want. We don't have to put any stop actions or anything. And we'll check the speed on it. First we're going to go back out here where we have blades, body, and light. Grab the light and blur that as well. You don't want it to be so sharp on the edges so you blur it. Blur it nice and thick. 
make that a, a medium and there you go now let's press control enter okay it's going a little fast so let's go back into that movie clip double click and let's extend these out by just dragging the keyframes there maybe to 60 and 30 now let's press F12 to publish out in the browser and there you have it folks nice animated helicopter and for the example the gentleman showed there was two side by side or flip flopped horizontally so you, you would just put that one there in the main scene press just grab that control C control shift V to paste it in place modify transform flip horizontal and slide it into place or you can drag it and there you have it now you have two helicopters that are looking for a crook maybe you put your crook or you, you put yourself right in the middle the example that the gentleman showed at the forum for the for the MySpace channel he was interested in copying or not copying but using those types of ideas uh, it had two helicopters back to back like that and the person the musician was sitting right in between here with sweaty text and so I'm going to also show do a couple of more tutorials for what uh, that gentleman wanted to see as far as animations and how to create them manually uh, really cool ones in flash like this and like I said you can make this black and it'll all work look how good this looks that looks so good you can't see your blades too good on the black but you could if you let's see let's see if we go in there let's grab the blades and as long as uh, with the blur let's add another filter uh, no let me don't go there let's go to properties and give it a brightness let's see if this works haha -ha, there we go now press F12 and now you can see your blades real good in a black uh, canvas oh man that is super sweet it looks hot like I said you can animate those in you can bring those in from uh, on the main timeline or if you nest your movies correctly they can come in from afar or from off scene onto your scene whatever you want okay and so we'll be showing sweaty text hot city sweaty text and uh, rolling clouds in the sky beyond everything and then that will be all the the animations that the gentleman wanted to learn how to create okay we'll see you guys next lesson